Okay, no one's supposed there to say we go. anything. <laughs> there we okay. go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. Now we're all good. You know what? Never mind. Wow, just Same right back into it. Okay, well, uh, we don't even have yeah. to fucking... OMG, I love Nier Automata. Actually, those aren't buildings. I don't know what those are. I was like... They're just big things. They're leaning towers of pizza. Whoa, wow. Ricky! Since when were you here, buddy? Hi, it's, Ricky. It's almost like this is a different session or something. No, he just showed up instantaneously. Yeah, he just, he just, like he just showed up in my house. Yeah, yeah, I only show up when people need me most. Um, it's, it's like, uh, Captain Planet. The that's the best example of thing. I, I don't know, I was like, he only shows up when people need him most. I was like, oh, that's just like, and then I realized I couldn't think of a character yeah, that, that of looks like that. <laughs> Goku. I feel like there's definitely somebody who says that and does that, but... Uh, I don't know, Aang? I was about to say Aang, but he's the opposite. When the world needed him most, he, he vanished. vanished. So. Yeah. And, and kind of a bitch for that, for real. If, <laughs> I know. If I was the Avatar, I, I just would not have done that. Yeah, I would have uh, not gotten frozen. I just would have been just, better. I would have simply solved all the problems. You can really float through the air with the fucking surfboard, can't you? Oh yeah, you can. I think you can spin infinitely, right? You can't fly infinitely, but... You can definitely spin infinitely. It's a, it's it so might be good. a timing thing. This is... The, the snowboard or whatever is definitely like... The item in the game that trains, no. or that like tests your your memories of the layout, because like I imagine their speedrunners are just freaking falling on this thing. I wonder if there's a secret over here. Uh, yeah, that's just that's just weapon. like blade, right? The I think so. Yeah. Blade? yeah, we don't. Because edgy it. has like uh, looks edgier. I never want to get rid of edgy. It's Ed so edgy. I'm edgy good. is my favorite one. Easy. It's very good. It I just, don't know if it was my favorite, but I really like it. It just works. I'm trying to remember what my favorite power is. I think the snowboard, uh, but second to that, like... IDK. What's, um... Oh, shit. Spark oh, the okay. Elect... Uh -huh, Still new mechanics, to? hell yeah. Peak, peak video game right here. Literally the greatest game ever made. Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't this feel good? Like, yes. You're just like, why don't more platformers like do this kind of thing? And if they do, like, make it faster. Yeah. Yes. I'm looking at the power up real quick to try to remember what my favorite was. I I like the wind one a little bit, even though it's kind of useless. Oh, electric bat, spark board. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure OBS loves this effect. Yeah, it seems to be doing fine. How's the stream? It looks fine. Okay. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. Um, was this game inspired heavily by Sonic? Yes. Yes. It's like a mix between Sonic, Kirby, and Mega Man Mega Zero. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly like Zero. They, they took a, it's a triangle of those three things, and it's like right uh, somewhere in the middle, not but, directly. But the last time, I said, well, I'm I don't know if it's more zero or X, and then I gave it like a millisecond of thought, and I was like, no, it's all zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I even said X, like, it's just zero. This is more Mega uh, Man Zero than fucking Kirby. Oh my god, oh yeah, we're going fast. Yeah, it, it's very much like... I want to say closer to like Sonic Advance than Classic Sonic, also, so, but I might be wrong. I can on that. see that. Definitely not level design Woo! wise, but uh. Holy shit, you go so somewhere fast. between there. I know, right? Honestly, yeah, I just I really think this game's underappreciated in some of the stuff that's done. One hundred percent. Holy shit! Now, when was this game made? Uh, I think twenty seventeen. Let me check. Now, it was in development for longer, probably. Because uh, I'm pretty sure this was a... Yeah, 2017. I I'm, I'm, i don't know for sure, but I'm fairly certain this was probably like a game jam game or something made for uh, one of the Sonic uh, fan game competitions or something that evolved into its own thing. Yep. Mm. At the very least, the creators have definitely worked on fan games. It, you can definitely feel that fact, Ricky, because the beginning of the game is just like text on a screen. 
But then, partway through, it starts doing, like, full-ass animated cutscenes, and it's like, why wasn't this in the beginning? <laughs> this is I fucking still... awesome? It is crazy they didn't go back and just add a cutscene yeah, in the beginning. I mean, I, I think it's funny, but yeah. uh, definitely, like, it undersells, well, just... like, how, like, big budget the game really is, you know? Because that, yeah. that cutscene yeah. was impressive. All, all the cutscenes so far have been impressive. Help me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just imagine, um... I, sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen when you said that. I was remembering that uh, TikToker vine of the guy who's just, like, reviewing a milkshake, and then he just starts screaming, Help! Help <laughs> me! <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing it with a straight face. That's the best part. Yeah. yeah. It, he's, like, got the grandma's shake. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, I worry there's people who, like, play this game, and they, like, see that intro, and they play, like, the first level, and they just give up. They're like, yeah. this isn't gonna be any good. And it's like, no, man, you're missing out. Well, I mean, the gameplay speaks for itself. I don't think anyone would be disinterested from playing the game. Oh, no, not at all. And I, I think the intro does do a good job. It's just, you know, people, people let first impressions, I mean, first impressions speak a lot. And honestly, I think they should speak a lot, but it also, um, you know... The point is, they could have, they could have done something to make the intro a little better, especially now that there's like two sequels and Yo! all that. Get it? Holy crap! Holy shit! You're it's been for fucking thing. ever. Okay, nah, I never got, even got to look at the fucking move list. Okay. Oh yeah, Ricky. Whenever he opens the move list on on Discord, we can't see it for some reason. Oh but, yeah, uh, I forgot yeah. about that. But he's able, he's able to see it right now, and it'll yeah. show up in the video. It's 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 nothing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't well, know why Discord's like that. This is neat. It's oh, never such mind. A good it's, item. Still just, it's still just. God, it's just the I'm... jumping attack that's just so good. It's, it feels yeah, so good. It's, it's literally just zero, but it's perfect because of that. This is what it'd be like if um, Sonic had a sword in 2D. Probably. That'd probably be more Imagine... fun than Sonic having a sword in 3D. <laughs> Imagine how weird. Sonic and Mario would be if they had thin feet like their legs are and not big feet like tiny feet oh wow Ooh, that's I mean this kind of like a stick man at that point I feel like there's got to be a character like that because I mean like look at this character look look at its legs and yeah then the feet are I mean yeah the feet are like huge yeah well it's something you got to do with mascot characters you have to have big feet Big hands, gloves sometimes. I mean, Mickey Mouse, you know. I can't think of a mascot character that doesn't have huge feet, you know, think about it. Even Sora's got that <laughs> design element. Yeah. Could you imagine his grippers, bro? <laughs> well, you know what they say about guys with big feet? Big shoes. Big okay. I was gonna I say socks. First. Oh, that too. Audience, this is your cue to laugh. I love being told when to laugh. Yeah. Put, I know. Put, you should, we should start putting laugh, laugh tracks in all of our videos. <laughs> oh, I feel like I saw it in a movie and I can't remember, but like, just have a big flashing, like, black screen that has, like, or like, like a ribbon in the middle of the screen and it just says, this is your cue to laugh or please laugh or something. Or uh, laugh now. For live audience. And it just, like, flashes. Yeah, I think, like, I, I cannot remember where I saw that. But like, imagine like Big Bang Theory, and instead of like having a laugh track, they would tell a joke, and then this big thing just pops up on the screen and it's flashing, and it just says "laugh now." This is the funny part. I just, laugh. I, I just let go of the stick. Wonderful. This is. <laughs> these are Once you love automated. Like that, stuff. Yeah. Uh, that was funny. Speaking of movies, uh, I just recently I, I watched a few recently, and I'd like to talk about them. Uh huh. Uh. What one, movies did you watch? Renfield, which is the Nicolas Cage playing ba uh, oh. fucking Batman, uh, Dracula. Uh-huh. How was that? It was really, really good. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of those movies that's like, I know authors who use, who use subtext and they're all cowards. Right. Uh, the movie could not be more clear in its messaging, which I think is very funny. Oh, uh, story it, time. Uh, do we know this character? No. Okay. Just some guy. You want to finish your thought first, or do you want to no, continue? No, I will continue later. 
You do it, James. Oh. You! I don't remember what voice he's supposed to have. It's me! Who are you again? We never met. My name is Spark, by the way. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a different voice. Or try to. I'm not good at doing voices, but I'll try my best. Oh, Spark, huh? Fitting. I'm Unit Zero. It is a pleasure to meet you. Oh, a nice robot for a change. Last time I... Uh, it was at Smog City. <laughs> he was super apologetic, though. Seems like an odd fellow. Totally. And then later he said we needed to fight to the death. And some world domination shenanigans. Oh, that is most unkind. You don't want to do that, right? This fighting to the death thing? Oh, my goodness, no. My duty is to protect the amazing holographic computer known as Megaraf. Wait, Megaraf? Oh! Why you I... cut out so hard? <laughs> I've heard of it. It is the greatest building. I, I literally... He, he's so inconsistent in his speech pattern that I literally cannot figure out how he's supposed to talk. It is, it is the greatest building ever built by Formikind. It will be fully responsible for this world's production of high-quality robots. I got it. This must be it. This whole robot invasion. It must be coming from Megarath. I do not understand. It is my belief that Megarath has not been built yet. No way. It was finished a couple years back. No. There is no way. That is preposterous. <laughs> that is preposterous. <laughs> My memory must be malfunctioning. Could be, man. I know you want to protect it and all, but things are really bad right now. It might be blown up. We've got to find out what's really going on. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Yo, want to come with me? We can make a great duo. You dare to lie about that magnificent computer? And not only that, but you dare to say it with a straight face? But if you are right, then you sh then you sure can you sure can prove yourself in combat. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, this person probably their first I, language I, isn't English. I, I checked. I think they were living in Brazil, so I'm not sure who translated the game, but there's there's some blubs in the dialogue for sure. Prepare for battle. Alright, I can do that. Odd, but still, having an ally in this madness sure is worth it. Let's do it! Alright, so he's gonna team up with you if you beat him. Yay! Just don't kill him. Oh, he looks like General. I wonder if that's a coincidence. I didn't notice that before. Especially that, like, the side sprite where he's fully sideways. You only see it for, like, a split second. Right there. Like, that's literally General from Sonic Battle. And, or Sonic, uh, Advanced 3. Where is his health? Ah! <laughs> Good question. Uh, oh, uh, was that fucking Zero? Now. <laughs> I swear that looked like Zero to me. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Uh, so Renfield. Um, Never mind. That's just Metal it's him. Sonic, it's, bro. It's John That's Renfield. just Metal Sonic X Zero. It's just Metal Sonic. It's you, buddy. Uh, hold on. No, let Ricky do this one. I gotta see. I got. I got. I gotta let Ricky test his abilities. So, I see. I wasn't sure if Ricky was looking at the screen. To be honest, that's why I'm calling for him. You can do it, Ricky. This is Unit Zero. I do not know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting something like this. But weak. Same, Ricky. Who are you? I, I, I can't feel my body. Please, what have I done? <laughs> Don't do this to me. Oh. <laughs> Oop. Ah, uh, then you must be the jester. Do what is best for you and enjoy your painful life while you can. 
So relatable. This will all be over soon. Okay. I can't believe they copied Ricky's dialogue word for word and put it in the game. That's yeah. crazy. I, I remember you, when Ricky. Ricky made that iconic speech that one time. I know. Ow. Yeah, I think I think I had just like uh played Pokemon for a while and I was feeling really <laughs> godlike. Um, It'd be like that. Dude, that, that infinite dashing you were just doing, holy crap. Yeah. So, Renfield, um... Actually, do you, um, can you pause for a second? I need to get some water. Real bad. I thought I had enough, but I do not. We'll be right back. I'll be just a second. We're back. Oh, shit. I'm back, everybody. I mean, about I, Renfield? I cut, yeah, Renfield. Uh, movie's very fun. Very fun, funny movie. Uh likable character it's just good it's good people undersell like cage uh, he can I, be in the movies if he wants to i be. will give a trigger warning aquafina is in the movie uh <laughs> hmm? the water no aquafina <laughs> the, it's an actress yeah the actress slash rapper um i some people aren't a fan of her i oh i, I was about to say i'm, I'm out of the loop yeah, I've never heard. I of think some people just find her life. annoying or something. Like I, I'm, I'm just making a joke. I don't have a problem with her. I don't. I don't Jokes know have if to she's be dumb funny, or right? <laughs> well, it's 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 hard for you to find them funny if you don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Skill issue, you know. I mean, it was a good joke. Clear, I was simply like, you're you're clearly in opposition to this person. I'm um, not. I don't have a problem with Aquafina. I think she did just fine in the movie. Uh, she yeah. even had some very funny line reads. Alright, Aquafina stands in our comments. You know what you have to do. Yeah, really. You have to... You have to... Wage war against Ransom for the rest of his life. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how many stands there are for her. Well, listen. Everyone knows Aquafina stands are huge fans of Spark the Electric Jester in the year 2023. And are watching this video right now. Uh, I would imagine you're like a famous person and you just have this strange association with Spark the Electric Jet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weird, stranger things have happened. Like, I imagine, think. imagine Henry Cavill, but he just in interviews he only talks about this game. <laughs> well, Henry Cavill's actually not the best example for a ridiculous example because. He's well, genuinely associated with Warhammer 40k at this point. Oh, well, he knows Warhammer that. Warhammer 40k is a huge franchise. Yeah, like, well, imagine it's something okay, like small. small. But like this, this is an indie game, right? Yeah. Like I would say this is yeah, like you know, even even for getting small like niche or indie games, like I'm surprised there aren't any celebrities that are just like big like Sans Undertale fans or something. Um, like, I played this Undertale game, you guys. It's very good. I Robert mean, Downey Jr. There's some or someone. like pro wrestlers who will like do some shit yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, Kenny Omega and all that. Yeah. But like I mean, what you a, know, like movie God, stars or whatever. Um I imagine fucking Robert De Niro is just in an interview one day and he's like, you know, I think Shovel Knight is really just what I've been into. <laughs> like that's what I want to talk to right, talk about right now. <laughs> And the interviewer is so confused, breathe. like doesn't know what's going on. Now, now, they're like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Now there are some real life versions of this, like Robert Pattinson just starts going the fuck off about Final Fantasy VII during an interview. Oh yeah, God bless him. But even yeah. then, like FF7 was the biggest game in the world when he was a kid, so... It's yeah, always really it's funny. Not... MY SHIT! Okay. <laughs> It's always really funny seeing, like, some of the Kingdom Hearts actors who are, like, just, you know, otherwise celebrities already. Mm -hmm. And if they get asked about it in an interview, they love talking about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, Jesse McCartney's for real just like, yeah, bro, I fucking love Roxas so much. <laughs> <laughs> or Haley Joel like... Osmond feeling, like, genuine, like, no, nah, I feel connected to Sora. I like seeing what he's up to. It is funny, because, like, if you didn't bring it up, you would never know. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I just played this, like, doctor or whatever in this show. And they're like, by the way, weren't you that kid in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, I like it. I love, I love teaming up with Mickey Mouse and uh, <laughs> killing God. Okay, to be fair, would you not also love doing that? 
It's, um, it's true. Like, I, especially some of them, like, some actors in Kingdom Hearts Ricky, if you didn't know, are fucking huge. They got, um, fuck me, who played Saruman? Uh, um, not Ian McKellen, that's Gandalf. Uh, oh my god, I feel so bad. Uh, oh, sorry, my, my internet cut out for a second. Who played Ansem the Wise? Oh, uh, Sir... Uh, what's his name? <laughs> both... You talking about, you talking about, uh, dude from Star Wars? Yeah, yeah, he played, Yeah, Christopher uh, Lee. Christopher yeah. Lee, yeah, Christopher Lee is in Kingdom Hearts. And just imagine he... his ass being like, Yes, I love talking to Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does do that. <laughs> He's in Kingdom yeah. Hearts? He is in he's Kingdom like a Hearts. major character in Kingdom Hearts 2 and he just kills it. He's so good. I just realized game. this game has fucking elemental shields like Sonic 3. Yep. That's Leonard Nimoy happening. was a major character. Yeah, Leonard uh, Nimoy, uh, Mark uh, Hamill. Who plays Luke? Mark Hamill. Well, Mark a major Hamill character. isn't as crazy because yeah. he, he is well, just a voice actor. He'd be doing cartoons yeah. and shit. He's a like, regular he's, show. He's arguably yeah. more, or uh, the same amount famous for his voice acting as he is for Star Wars. Like, oh, well, you know, I'm just naming I, big names. And of course, all the Disney characters whose actual voice actors come in to voice them, so. If it was There's anything, just a lot of. Ricky, I'd agree if it was anything but the main character of Star Wars. But I do agree. He's definitely known for playing, like, the fucking Joker, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. people recognize him for that. Uh, and yet, there's someone out there who's, like, they hear the name Mark Hamill, and they're just like, oh, yeah, Skips! Yeah. <laughs> From regular show, you know? And that's, like, all they know. God, I always forget he does that. Um, he does. It's an amazing voice because you can't even fucking tell it's him like at all. <laughs> you just be pressing buttons in this fucking game, bro. I'm trying to remember. Isn't Sir Christopher Lee dead? Or yes. is that Gandalf? He, he, he passed he's, away. He's dead. Ian McKellen's still alive. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, who, the, who this actress was. Hold on a second. Is Walt Disney in Kingdom Hearts? No, but Namora wanted to put him in. Although that might have been a joke that he said during an interview. I, I don't remember him ever saying that, I, but I would love to see Walt Disney appear and for him to be like a boss or something. Yeah, like, oh I, I don't know, I know nothing about Kingdom Hearts, but I think it'd be great if the god you're talking about killing is just Walt Disney. Because yeah. these characters, he is god. That's true. It, you know, does Sora kill any gods? I'm actually trying to think about this. Sephiroth sort of counts, but he never kills him in, like, a god form. Slash, he never uh, kills him, actually. He just beats him. I'll, I'll have to think about it a second when I'm not... Uh, Wait. Distracted. I'm trying to. Okay, uh, I guess what? that's just a normal checkpoint. That's the first time that's happened in this game. What happened? I was looking away. There was a. Uh, it looks like an end of stage goalpost, but I guess it was just a checkpoint because they didn't stop at it. That was a little TV screen. Yeah. Bro, how fucking tall is this? I love not being. Able... Oh, okay, cool. That's a. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, wow, I love this art. I also love going fast. Game continue. Game continue. Yeah, I forgot so about I'll be honest, I literally forgot about this level. How could you forget? It's beautiful. Well, what's this? Overdrive glasses. For you and your AI pet. Oh, that's the thing that other uh, robot was just wearing. Ah. Why would a robot need glasses? That's Why do you question. need glasses, Ricky? I think I think it's a, an aesthetic thing. Uh, it's like in Japan how a how a fashion glasses are a thing. Oh yeah. I mean, it's probably not just Japan, but I wouldn't know about that if it wasn't. If you owned a robot buddy, well, own makes it sound weird to also call it, but you know what I mean. If you had a robot friend, would you deck him out and drip? Um, yeah, if they let me. I mean, probably. There was a song that like came out recently, and it, it's driving me nuts. I cannot remember who who it is. And then like there there 
but the singer like plays so one of Kingdom Hearts, and it's driving me crazy that I cannot remember. Uh, like a mainstream song? Yeah, like someone played on the radio. Uh, it's a. Did oh, you say it's about me. Kingdom Hearts, or it's by someone who likes Kingdom Hearts? It, it's by someone who plays in Kingdom Hearts. I can't remember. It's not, I mean, Jesse McCartney. It's one of the girls. A, Jesse McCartney. No, a it's safe it's one of the girls thing, uh, ah. actresses. Oh, was it she uh, on? I think so. I think, but like, it, what I, was I, the think song? I know what you're talking about. Uh, fuck me, I don't. I don't she's she's already an actress, but she's not like huge anymore. But she sang something on, that was on the radio, and it, it's killing me. Uh, well, while you do that, I'm gonna talk about the other movie I watched recently. Yeah, go ahead. Like, uh, I watched uh, Fist of Fury for the first time, the uh, classic Bruce Lee movie. Oh, how was that? Well, I, I love that you can summarize the movie in one sentence, and it's just, uh, Bruce Lee fixes racism by beating the shit out of everyone within a 50 mile radius. <laughs> Base? Uh, but it's, uh... It was really good. And it got me thinking about something, and it's, uh... The older I get, the more I come to understand and appreciate just how deadly blunt force can be, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, you see him hit people with nunchucks, and of course it's acting, and he's not... I'm sure they're like foam. But they just yeah. they get you thinking about the idea of nunchucks, and it's like, no, that would be deadly as shit. Yeah. That, that, is, that is a killing weapon, you know? Uh, I, I, something I have appreciated in recent years is stuff like John Wick or whatever, like, uh, or like Daredevil, like when they do like martial arts, like you just see them get more exhausted and like people like take like yeah. damage, like it freaking hurts. Uh, as opposed to that, I also watched uh, Drunken Master, which is a uh, Jackie Chan flick. Mm -hmm. And it, it's really interesting seeing how they characterize their kung fu, you know? Because mm -hmm. Jackie Chan is playing it like a comedy, you know? He's he's just fucking with people. But Bruce Lee is just actually killing people. <laughs> like, it's so deadly, the things he's doing to people. And it's just like, oh yeah, this is our protagonist. And he's justified, because, like, he's killing killers, you know? But it's just yeah. like, it's it's fucking rough, the things the things he does sometimes. It's, it's great. See, I've never actually... Uh more than a few seconds of Bruce Lee movies. I feel bad about it. Uh, but, uh, it's really so I good. wasn't I didn't know that, but I believe it. It's it's also like it, it was like watching Mean Girls. I know that's a weird thing to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's quite it. the comparison. Wow. It's like Get watching good. Mean Girls where you realize Wait, like you oh shit, what the fuck? Bro's just over here dying because yeah. you didn't notice he, he came back to life. You watch reason. it and you realize oh that's from that? Yeah. Except Oh yeah so many memes that I did it's, not even realize. Yeah. It's less so memes with, uh, Bru with uh, Fist of Fury and more like just action movie tropes, you know? Right. Like, you know the thing where the, a character will like wave their hands and you'll see an after image? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's in there. 